Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have seen how to write the schema validation for a newly created collection. So that means, so for a, when you are trying to create a new collection before creating the collection, if you want to write the schema validation, so we have seen that that one by using the db dot create collection. So thus that command is used only when we are trying to create a schema validation for a new collection. Now, if you have already have an existing collection and you want to write the schema validation, so that means you already have some of the documents which does not follow the schema validations. Already, we have some documents in that one. From now onwards, while we are inserting or we are updating the previous collection, we need to follow the schema validation. So, for an existing scheme uh, collection, how we can write the schema uh, schema validation? Let's try to see. It. Let's try to see the same thing. So, which we have something like the book collection. So, we are having these books, right? So let's try to write the same thing same thing the validator we can use the same thing but we need to use a command that is nothing but db dot okay so db dot i am writing in the visual studio code so that we can see it very easily with the formatting thing db uh, db dot run command so this command is used when when we want to update the schema validation for an existing collection so if you have a collection that is already having the schema validation if you want to write a, uh, if you want to update the schema collection uh, schema validation also you can use this command so here i can write something like we need to write the collect call mod call mod means collection module so what is this call mod so we need to write for a books okay so we need to write for a books and we need to write the validator so the same thing so we will be having a validator and another one we will be having an extra that is nothing but validation action okay validation action we have already seen so what is the type of validation action validation action validation action will be two things default one will be an error so if you want you can also give the warning warning means what it will try to do is if you have entered the document in the collection if which does not follow the schema validation then also it will try to submit but the warnings and all those things will be noted in the log file okay if you mention it as an error so the uh, the, the document which you are trying to enter it will not allow to enter into the collection so that is the difference between a validation action error and a warning and here the validator so validator means same thing so which we have written right so you will be having an object and inside this one you will be using the json schema same thing so let's try to take the bson type so we need to write the bson type that is nothing but an object let's try to write it again you need to get practice these are all the things so that is the reason i am trying to write it again so title so we'll be having these things right title price sorry price and we'll write write the description okay description authors and the status and a publisher so you'll be having these these all the things so let's try to write it here authors and a publisher okay so there's things and again you need to have a property section inside this property section you will write title so here you will have again bson type which is of type string okay and you can have description so to mention that if any error occurs means to mention this title so this message title should be a string okay and the another one is nothing but price you can have a price and this one is also takes the bson type you can mention it as the uh, double or decimal 128 i have already shown you the different types of bson types available in the mongodb so you can check in the documentation so price should be a number something like this you can write price should be a number you can write it like this also price should be a number so price should be a number and next one is the description so if you come to description let's write the description also so description it is also an object same the process will be the same only recent type it is a string and if you want you can mention description also here description and description should be a string don't mistake with the description this description is different so this is the document field name and this one is normal uh, key and la and the other one is an authors if you go for la, here on right authors so authors authors is nothing but it's an array so decent type it is an array 
okay we can take it as an array and comes the is uh, so bcn type is an array right in this array so you need to mention the item so uh, how could be the items in this one so bcn type it will be of type string okay so string and you will be allowing description also you can write it so others should be string so another one is the so another one is the status status so we know that it should take enum right so here you can write there is no bcn type here enum and this will be an array and you can mention active and inactive so these are the two things which we can enter and here you can write the description so description is status should be active or active or inactive okay so last one comes the publisher publisher so here you will be having the bcn type so bcn type is object you can have an object bcn type and here the required fields are name and address so name and address name and address and here you need to write again the properties okay so properties is bcn type it is of type oh sorry properties is first one is the name right so we should take the name and here you need to take the bcn type and this is of type string and the description is name should be string okay so you can take the same thing and you can paste it here and you can write so what is that one another one is an address right address you can take this one as a string and you can write address should be string okay so this is the thing validation error and these all things you can write it validation action errors so this is how we will be writing the same thing db.run command we will be using and here we need to mention the collection module call mod that is nothing but a books and this is an entire validator and you will have will be having an extra key validation action so you can mention it as either error or warn error is the default one if you don't mention this validation action it will be an error if you want to warn means so it will allow that it, it will be a warning so it will show you only the warning it will try to allow the document to be submitted in the collection let's try to copy these all things okay so i'm copying let's go to the mongodb shell command so here i'll be going to let's go to this d drive and in the program files so here you'll be having the program files for the c drive right in the c drive program files and here you'll be having the mongodb server let's go to this bin and here let's open this shell so i have opened this shell let's let's open this shell yeah so this is the shell command so let's zoom in yeah. so i am clearing out so let's try to check the dbs what are the dbs available and this is our shop db we are having right let's let's go to this use shop so i am using the shop let's try to see the collections what are the collections available so here i am having the books let's try to delete these books db db dot books dot drop i am dropping this collection okay now let's try to create a uh, books thing okay db dot books books dot insert one i will insert it one so here i will write only the title okay of type leela i will use tit title of type leela. that's it this is the only one i will insert now i want to add the validation thing so here i can write db dot okay so here i can copy this entire thing so db dot run command so call mod books i am writing right so this is all the validation and now let's try to press it so okay of one now if i try to insert the same thing so you will get an error that is so these are all the required fields you need to provide these are all the required fields now we are able to see it for example if i try to see db dot products dot find if i try to see already we have sorry not db dot products right db dot books dot find okay db dot books dot find dot pretty if i try to see already we have a one document which is having this one 
so this one is this will be present like that only after inserting this document we have we have added the schema validation now when you want to update the same thing so now if you want to update the same thing so for example let's say that if you want to update the same thing here so let's try to copy this one okay and here let's try to take something like update one and let's try to write underscore id so you can mention it like this and here i can write something like dollar set so here i can write price something like 12.99 if i try to insert so again i'm able to get an error that missing properties are authors description publisher and status so it is telling you that so you need to add these all fields also while updating so that means already existed one it will be allowing like that only but if you want to update that same collection now it will throw an error so telling that you need to add those all fields so this is how this updation of the schema validation work if any collection has already has the schema validation and if you want to update the schema validation you need to use this db.run command so this is all about already existing collection if you want to update the schema validation so this is the command we will be using hope you understood about the schema validation if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you